What's up guys? Uh, you are accompanying me on a beautiful drive in the countryside. I'm going to visit my dad in beautiful uh, Port Hope, Ontario. I was thinking about just going to the skate park, the beach, and kind of just having uh, a nice day. It's beautiful out. I kind of feel like John Hill, but I actually have grown to appreciate his content, like not even trolling. Um, like Progress Daily, I, I, I would have made fun of the name of the brand, but it's just funny when you get older, it's like, it is nice to just document uh, progressing at like the activities that like, you like to do. Uh, and that's kind of just wanna, why I want to have an outlet for like when I go mountain biking, when I go skating. What is that? You know? This is a drop when I was younger on my mountain bike. Always a bit nostalgic. Uh, I don't know how long ago, it must have been now, like 15 years ago. I was part of like the skateboard council in our town and before that we didn't have a skate park. We just had like a little indoor thing with a, a couple little wooden ramps that were built terribly. So we had like a skateboard council and we all went through like a design process where everyone just sketched out like some features that they would want to have on a piece of paper and together with like a skate park designer, uh, yeah, we just kind of combined a lot of these ideas and ended up with like a pretty cool park. Like I can definitely see some of the things from my little drawings when I was when I was young coming to life. And a few of the things are like made kind of funny. like. The flat bars are definitely way too small, especially the four stair. Uh, the Euro gap, they had it originally, they had it straight into one of the steps instead of like it being like the flat and then another step. So they had to fix that and kind of made it a little bit funny, but yeah, it's a, it's a great skate park. There's usually not too many people there other than little kids and scooters, but yeah, I, I definitely love it every time I come. like flat down ledge it's always perfectly waxed or it just needs like a tiny bit i love to like just slide it no slide back tail it like always goes it's so fun and like little lines towards the rail Let's see if i can get something first try a little light work line 
I can, if I can get the angle. First time ever. I'm getting really hot and sweaty now. Kind of like warmed up. I want to like try and learn something new, but I don't know what yet. I think I'm going to try a, a line from like the little hubba and then the rail. So it might take a while. I'm going to think of something, but I'm probably going to try something for a long time. Oh, nice. Cool. No, just the first one. No. That looked clean too. Want me to stop it? Sure. Well, kind of had an epic sesh there, but um, a bunch of kids showed up and like there there was a mom there and i kind of wanted to do some commentary but i was way too shy with anybody being able to overhear me so i just ended up not and my phone kept overheating and like stopped filming so i did that like nolly 270 uh lip i did it pretty quickly and my phone just wasn't recording the entire time and then i took like three pretty bad slams and like landed on my wrist really bad and my back and it's kind of cut my shoulder and i didn't film any of it because my phone just kept stopping filming but i mean i did it eventually yeah i kind of wanted to do some more tricks today like learn something new because i've done that line before and honestly the nolly crook is harder than the 270 but i am happy to do that trick because i haven't really done that one in a long time and there's not really many skate parks with rails small enough to actually try that one and it's kind of a fun cool trick so yeah i have to at least land that today after i go to the skate park sometimes i like to go to the beach if it's nice out and it's actually really hot today so i'm gonna go for a quick swim and then back home for dinner with so the beach is only like i don't know three minute drive from the skate park it's usually uh pretty quiet very beautiful like usually one or two people there, like nobody else in the water usually. So you feel very private. I used to like run down here a lot and I would, I would go for like a three kilometer run. I would take a swim in the middle and then run home, which is like 2K. Oh, it's Okay, yeah, somehow that's the hot spot now. I started walking towards the water and it stunk like shit and there was like 
20 kids, so I'm gonna go to a more quiet spot because it's just nice to be at the beach alone. Sitting on the beach alone is like the nicest thing that you can do. Bring a book, which I, I didn't, I forgot, but that is like my ideal day. Going to the beach, sitting in the shade, swimming, reading a book, playing some chess on my phone, and just relaxing. In high school, we used to uh, we used to drive to go swimming. We'd put the heat on full blast and leave the windows up to just get as hot as possible. And I kind of feel like doing that right now because my AC was on. I'm like cooling down. I know the water's gonna be cold. Like I'd rather just feel burning right now. Kind of sketchier than I thought. Beautiful though. Oh, the water was so warm and nice i thought it was gonna be cold it was just a beautiful absolutely perfect temperature and while i was in there i was looking back and i just saw like a huge hawk or something i think it was a hawk but super cool that was uh that was my day i'm just gonna go wind down you know chill out with my dad probably play some chess on my phone maybe watch some youtube and yeah, see you guys in the next one if it ever happens.